uh, Hong Bing Lee. So I'm working at the University of uh, British Columbia, that's in Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, my research is uh, uh, really in the mechanical properties of uh, elastomeric proteins. So those are the proteins that place on the uh, tension on the biological settings. Uh, so we're trying to understand uh, their mechanical properties, uh, their mechanical design, so what they are built, and so how they function on the biological conditions. Yeah. So most of the time we use a uh, single molecule force spectroscopy, including atomic force uh, microscope and optical uh, tweezers. So these are two complementary techniques and uh, so will allow us to uh, explore the uh, forces in, in different uh, ranges uh, from a few piconewtons up to uh, a few hundred piconewtons. Uh, so in this uh, um, Lumix C-trap, so it's uh, quite uh, impressive that it combines uh, uh, fluorescence uh, with uh, optical trapping because uh, in the traditional for spectroscopy technique, you only get uh, information about the force, but often force is not uh, uh, enough, so you need uh, multiple probes at the same time. And uh, so this uh, combining uh, fluorescence uh, with uh, uh, force, so certainly will give us a lot more information, so from uh, a different uh, dimension. So that's certainly something I would really look forward to, to explore uh, in my own research. At the moment, my research is a fairly fundamental uh, scientific research, uh, but one of the projects we are looking at is the uh, mechanical properties of the uh, muscle protein titan. So we are looking at uh, how uh, their mechanical uh, properties correlate uh, with the certain uh, diseases. Uh, so uh, certainly so this will be in the long run, but we really hope that uh, the force spectroscopy uh, measurements will provide some new insight uh, into how uh, uh, mutations uh, in, in the muscle uh, in the titan uh, can translate into uh, the disease and how uh, can people find ways to treat this uh, disease. So certainly the single molecule for spectroscopy uh, measurements will provide a, a fundamental uh, understanding to help researchers uh, to find better uh, ways to treat those diseases uh, in the long run. Yeah, so, so like I said, so this uh, combining different probes, uh, so, so multi probes uh, uh, doing the, uh, looking at the same problem at the same time. So I think so that will be uh, something really exciting uh, to see. So, so I think probably down the road in a few years, probably many of these uh, interesting uh, things will, will come out. So certainly over the last uh, couple of years combining the optical trapping with uh, fluorescence already provides some, uh, some really exciting new insight, for example, like those Cas9 studies. And uh, so certainly provide a very interesting uh, perspective for this kind of really interesting uh, biological problem. <laughs>